Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one of my recipe videos. So I'll be sharing with you guys five different recipes that I made throughout the week and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, I am doing a spaghetti squash lasagna. So the first step of this recipe is to cook your spaghetti squash. I'm going to attempt to cook it in my Instant Pot. I've never cooked it in there before, um, but we're gonna try it out and see how it works. All right, so I just put it in there. As you could see, it like barely fit, but it did fit. And I turned it on, it's warming up right now. When it just says on, that means it's like still heating up. Um, but I it, put it for manual for seven minutes. Um, that's what Google told me to do. So hopefully this will work. Um, and then I made sure the top was sealed. Now I'm going to cook up my meat. So for this recipe, it calls for ground turkey as well as ground pork. So I'm just gonna put all this in a skillet and get it all cooked. Okay, once the meat is completely done cooking, I'm going to add in the garlic and I also added onion as well, oregano, diced tomatoes, and then two cans of tomato paste and mix it all together and let it kind of simmer. With the speed of light we cross the stratosphere. Okay, so this is the mixture I'm making, and this is Greek yogurt, um, an egg, Parmesan cheese, and mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna mix this all up. Okay, we're gonna see. Oh, okay, there's no steam. All right, we're gonna see how this works. Um, it smells kind of funky, like it might have burned. Oh, I think the water underneath burned or something. Something's burnt on the bottom, but this looks like it might be pretty legit. Okay, so it looks like the spaghetti squash is like, oh my gosh, look, you guys, can you see? I think it's like actually perfect. I'm gonna try to see if I can shred it. Yes, look at that. It is absolutely perfect. Um, however, the bottom of my Instant Pot is all black and I think, I think next time I will just need to add like two or three cups of water so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Um, but otherwise, that was a really good trick to cook this. So I'm just gonna shred this up and put it in this bowl. I can see us breaking down the barrier. Okay, I've got all my spaghetti squash in this bowl now. So as you can see, it made quite a bit of spaghetti. And now I'm going to add it into this meat mixture and just kind of combine all of this stuff together.
add some mozzarella cheese. It just baked for 20 minutes and now I'm going to add the cheese to the top and then bake it for another 10 minutes. Okay, tonight's recipe is mom's, I don't know how to say that word, bagol, bagoji, I don't know. Um, and I'm not doing the cucumber kimchi salad. I actually have some other sides that I'm gonna pair with this. Um, but this cookbook is the Magnolia Table Cookbook, and I have never tried this recipe before. The first thing I did was make a marinade, and this is soy sauce, sesame oil, I did fresh garlic and green onions, and then some brown sugar. And now I'm going to add my steak into it and I'm just going to coat the steak into this marinade and then stick it in the fridge for a few hours. Okay, so now that the steak has been marinated for a while, the rest of the recipe is super simple. I'm just going to grill the steak. I'm just gonna do it on my stove top. And then for my sides, I am going to use the rice cauliflower veggies as my base to go underneath the steak. Um, the recipe calls for white rice, which I'm sure would be delicious, but we always try to watch our carbs a little bit, so I like to use the cauliflower rice. And then for the sides tonight, I found these egg rolls. Um, they're just from Walmart, and they're like fresh, ready to go chicken egg rolls, so I'm excited to make these. And then these are like our go-to side whenever I make like any sort of Asian dish. I always like to have pot stickers with it, so I'm gonna heat these up as well. Okay, you guys, tonight's meal is super, super easy. This is one of my go-to meals. I just thought I would share it with you guys in case you need some good meal ideas. But this is going to be taco salad. I am just using this ground beef I really like. This is from Walmart. Um, this is the grass-fed beef. I've been buying this a lot more lately. I really like this beef instead of the other beef that I used to buy. Um, but I'm just going to brown this ground beef in a pan. And then once it's like basically brown, I'm going to pour in some of the taco seasoning mix and a little bit of water and let it simmer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the ingredients that I use. Sometimes I actually use a tortilla and I put it in the oven and like make it crispy, but most of the time I just like to put chips on top of it instead of like doing it all fancy. Um, so I'm using iceberg lettuce as the base for my salad and then I like to put Doritos on it. It's so good. I just like crumple them up on top. And then shredded cheese. And then of course Greek yogurt. We put that on pretty much everything. And I love using this Catalina dressing on top of taco salad. I think it's so good. And then we have a little bit of avocado, so I just chopped that up. I'm gonna put that on my salad. Who saw you just the other day? Oh, I guess that you were back in town. It's been a long time since you've been around. Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby? We were young and foolish then Oh, how I wish we could go back again I've decided it's been too long, baby Reaching out 
Okay, so the recipe calls for cooked chicken. All right, uncooked chicken is so gross, but I just dropped it into my Instant Pot and it's actually a little bit frozen still. And I just put it on the meat setting and it can cook pretty quickly. So I'm also gonna pour in some chicken broth over it to give it a little bit of liquid so it doesn't get dry. And then I'm going to season it with this Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. Okay, so here's everything laid out for this recipe. I just shredded up my chicken. So you could also use like a rotisserie chicken or something like that, but that is how I always prep my chicken if it um, needs to be pre-cooked. So the recipe actually calls for biscuits, but they were out, so I got crescent rolls, so it's gonna be a little bit of a different vibe, but it'll still be good. Um, sharp cheddar cheese, frozen mixed vegetables, let them thaw out for a little bit, um, some cream of chicken soup, and then garlic, salt, and onion powder. And basically, you're gonna take all of these ingredients and combine it into a bowl to make like a thick, chunky filling. And then I'm gonna be putting my croissants into these little tins to make the muffins. Okay, tonight's recipe is going to be fish tacos. I actually don't make fish hardly ever, so this is kind of gonna be a little bit of a different recipe for me, but I saw these on my friend Jessica Giffen's Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel here, and she shared her recipe, and they sounded really good. So I just got some wild-caught Pacific cod. Hopefully that'll work. I, like I said, I never buy fish. Um, and then I'm gonna be um, squirting lime juice all over it and adding spices, paprika, ground cumin, onion powder, and garlic powder, and putting that all over the fish and then just putting it on a pan and baking it for 13 minutes at 375. While the fish is cooking, I'm gonna start working on all of the toppings, which is gonna be the best part of the tacos. Um, I'm gonna do peaches because she shared that in her recipe and I thought that sounded really good. Um, I'm just using these because my kids eat these all the time, they're obsessed. So I'm just going to drain these and put these into one of the bowls. Okay, the rest of the ingredients that I'm using, um, tortillas obviously for the tacos. A lot of people do corn tortillas for fish tacos, but I just love flour. Um, so I have the regular flour, and then these were a Walmart substitution, and I honestly really love these, so I'll probably be purchasing these now in the future, but they are these Extreme Wellness High Fiber um, Low Carb Tortillas. And then I'm gonna do some shredded lettuce. I'm going to dice up this red onion and crumble this queso fresco. And then the last thing is some plain Greek yogurt, and I think I'm gonna add some lime juice and maybe some seasonings to this and kind of whip it together to turn it into a little like sauce.
there's the fish and all of the toppings. It'd also be really good to do like a cabbage slaw with it, um, but we just had lettuce on hand, so I'm excited to dig in. Happy Cinco de Mayo today. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my recipes. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you like these videos because I definitely will be doing more. If you guys like them, let me know what your favorite recipe is and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.